Hi. Uh, in this lecture, we will co configure the payment method per country. Uh, let's start with conflict. Log into SAP. Go to transaction code FBZP. Click the tab Payment Methods in Country. Uh, we are conferring for country US. Select US. So we are going to configure a new payment method E uh, in SAP. Click New Entries. So country is US. Payment method, it's a new payment method. Give it the ID E. Now, a payment method is used to make payment to vendor. It could be, as uh, we have discussed earlier, it could be check or ACH or wire transfer. Uh, we are going to configure uh, JPMC wire. We are going to configure the wire transfer payment method and giving it the ID E. Description will be wire transfer JPMC is for JPMC bank uh, in the option payment method for its outgoing payment that is payment to vendor as we have discussed earlier the program can also be used for incoming payments that is to collect the money from the customers uh, payment method classification now here uh, we are doing a bank transfer which is an electronic fund transfer uh, program will create a, a flat file which will be then uh, sent to the bank through methods like secured file transfer or EDA exchange server uh, the other option could be a check that is when the payment method is checked in that case the program will print checks we will select the bank transfer can the payment method be used to make personal payments? Let's select yes. This means in case uh, an employee is set up as a vendor in the SAP, this payment method can be used to make payment to such employees also. A required uh, specification like street PO box number or a bank details, yes. Uh, we will need the vendor bank account details uh, these will be there in the payment media file and based on this only uh, our bank will be able to send money to the vendor bank account and also credit to the account number which is there in the payment file. So select the bank details. We need the vendor account number. Yes. IBAN it's not required because it's a domestic payment and uh, yeah so the bank detail itself is sufficient. Now, street PO box or PO box code. Uh, this is typically required in the case of checks when the check have to be couriered or mailed to the vendor. Uh, in this in this case, mm, uh, it is not required because we are doing for electronic fund transfer. Posting details. Uh, document type for payment. Uh, so when the program runs it, creates a, a payment document which has details of a bank account from which the money is going and also the vendor invoices which have been paid. So document type for payment, uh, we give ZP and clearing document type. Now clearing is again a functionality. Uh, what happens, there is a vendor invoice, let's say of $1,000, 1000 US dollar. And when we make a payment of uh, to the vendor of uh, thousand US dollar so we have a payment document and uh, the vendor invoice these two can be cleared against each other which is done by a clearing document so the clearing document type is to be defined here uh, this we are giving is ZV and now the most important thing here is the payment medium so now the pay payment medium can be created using the payment medium workbench, which is a newer method, new method of creating payment medium workbench. And over the periods, SAP is recommending using more of payment medium workbench. The other method is a classic payment medium program. Uh, so we will go with the 
payment medium workbench. Mm. Now, this in the payment medium workbench, we are going to develop a flat file as per the layout provided by the JPMC bank for their wire transfer file. So once that flat file is developed, it will have an ID and that ID will be assigned here in this field format. Currently, we have not developed that. The, that file using uh, we will be developing in the next section. So we for now, we leave it blank. Save. Uh, there is another folder called currencies allowed. Now, if you leave it blank, uh, we can use any currency to make payment to the vendors. Uh, but if you want to restrict the currencies which can be used to make payment to the vendor, specify the currencies. We leave it blank. Uh, we continue with the other steps in configuration of payment process, payment methods in SAP in the next lecture.